Good morning, Friday, August 5th, 2022. Episode 476, Career Doubles Matchups. Here's a book I wrote. Who is the greatest? Baseball all-time player matchups. How do Hall of Fame baseball players, got to make it the Hall of Fame in order to be in this book, how do they match up with each other in 20 categories? What are the categories? Career average, career runs scored, runs batted in, home runs, triples, doubles, singles, total bases, slugging on base, Base on ball, stolen bases, 100 RBI seasons, how many? 100 run scored seasons, how many? Run scored in a season, RBIs in a season, highest average in a season, most hits in a season, most 200 hit seasons, and career total hits. These are 20 categories, match up two players, who wins the category, who wins in home runs, who wins in triples, so forth. This chapter I'm on, doubles, matchups, career doubles, who has the most? Tris Speaker, 792, incredible, in his 20 plus career. Then you have Pete Rose, Stan Musial, Ty Cobb, Craig Biggio, George Brett, Knapp Lajewai, Carl Yaskrimski, Honus Wagner, David Ortiz, top 10. Then you have Henry Aaron, Paul Molitor, Paul Wayner, Cal Ripken, Robin Yount, Kat Panson, Wade Boggs, Charlie Geringer, Ivan Rodriguez, Eddie Murray, top 20, as far as how many career doubles. Then Chipper Jones, Derek Jeter, Tony Gwynn, Harry Heilman, and Roger Hornsby round out 25 top career doubles in the Baseball Hall of Fame. We do make exception for Pete Rose. He's not in the hall. He should be. But you got to add Pete here. He's number two in doubles, 746. So how did Tris Speaker match up with the following 24 players I just mentioned? 20 categories. Who wins the category? Speaker did very well. He had 21 wins, two losses, one tie. Who did he beat? And who did he lose to? And who did he tie? Pete Rose, he won 14 to 6. He tied Stan Musial 10 10. There's the tie. Against Ty Cobb, he lost 16 3 1. That's his first loss. He has two losses. One of them is Ty Cobb. Who's the other one? We'll get to it. Speaker beats Craig Biggio 17 to 3. He beats George Brett 15 5. He beats Snap Lijawai 13 6 1. He beats Carl Skimsky 17 to 3. He beats Hawes Swagner, 14, 5, and 1. 14 wins, 5 losses, 1 tie. 20 categories. He beats David Ortiz, 14 to 6. He beats Henry Aaron, 11, 8, and 1. Speaker beats Molitor, 16, 2, 2. He beats Paul Wayner, 13, 6, 1. He beats Cal Ripken, 17 to 3. He beats Robin Yount, 18 to 2. He beat Caps Hansen 13 to 7. He beats Wade Boggs 15 4 and 1. He beats Charlie Geringer 12 8. He beats Ivan Rodriguez 19 to 1. He beats Eddie Murray 17 to 3. He beats Chipper Jones 11 to 9. That was close. He beats Derek Jeter 15 to 5. He beats Tony Gwynn, 15 to 5. He beats Harry Heilman, 11, 8, and 1. But what's his second loss? Roger Hornsby beat him, 15 to 5. 
So Cobb and Hornsby beat Speaker. And he ties Stan Usual, Tris Speaker. Very good showing by Tris Speaker. Career doubles matchup. He was a really good player. 345 career batting average, and he had 3,514 hits. How about that? That is the doubles matchup. And that was my fifth chapter in this book. All-time player matchups. The previous videos I've done on the matchups, I started off with home run matchups. Babe Ruth wins it. Career average matchup, Ty Cobb wins it. Career run scored matchups, Ricky Henderson has the most career runs, but he did not win the matchups. Career runs batted in matchups, Henry Aaron has the most career RBIs, and he won the matchup. And career triples matchup, Sam Crawford, he has the most career triples, but he did not win the matchups. What do I mean? Well, with Babe Ruth, you had 25, including him, top home run hitters of all time in the Hall of Fame. Ruth won 24 to nothing. In the career average matchup, Ty Cobb, the top 25 career averages in the Hall of Fame, the highest, Cobb won the matchup, 21 wins, two losses, one tied. Then in the Ricky Henderson matchup, why did I say he didn't win the matchup? Because he didn't win any of the matchups of the top 25. He had 23 losses, he tied one. That's why he didn't win the matchup. In the RBI matchup, Henry Aaron wins it. Why? Because he had 16, no, 15 wins, seven losses, two tied. In the Sam Crawford matchup, triples, why did I say he did not win? Because he only had, he had 10 wins, but he had 13 losses and one tied. So he didn't win the matchups. But in the trip in the doubles matchup, Tris Speaker wins it. Why? because he had 21 wins, two losses, one tie. Following me? And if you are number one in your category, home runs, Babe Ruth, and you have more wins than losses, you win the matchup. Ty Cobb, career average, wins the matchup. Ricky Henderson, most career runs scored, but he didn't win the matchup. Henry Aaron runs batted in. He had more wins than losses. He wins the matchup. Sam Crawford, most triples in the Hall of Fame, but he didn't win the matchup. But Tris Speaker, most doubles in the Hall of Fame, he wins the matchup. Who's next? In my matchups in this book, chapter seven, singles. Matchup. Most singles. Who has the most in the Hall of Fame? There's 25 leaders. Pete Rose is number one. He's not in the Hall of Fame. He should be. But you got to put him down. He has 3,215 singles in his career. Number one. Cobb is number two, 3,053. And you go all the way down the list. We'll get into that chapter next video. But for now, these players are incredible Hall of Famers. And what they achieved in their career is noteworthy, needs to be highlighted. And that's why I'm doing these videos. Thanks for watching. I'm out.